Thank you very much, Dash. However, you got the script wrong or that wrote it wrong for you. It's not LCS tonight. It's LCS Cooldown. Now we've rebranded. There's a cool sort of neon theme going on. It's exciting stuff. I am Freak. This is you to debut the new look with me. We've got TSM's Broken Blade and Acadian here off of a uh, interesting week one and one. It's interesting because I think you you won a game I expected a loss in and then lost a the game I expected a win in, just the way I power rank teams. But uh, still, I want your sort of thoughts. You're joining North America the first time. You're on TSM the first time. Um, wh what did this sort of week feel like to you? You start, I think. Um, <clears throat> I think it felt pretty good. I think both games were super controlled for the most part. Like we definitely just made some mistakes in the game today and didn't necessarily set up our map the correct way against the champions that they had, but overall I'm pretty pretty confident in how the games went and if everybody keeps playing like that, I'm very sure we're going to be a really good team. Cool. Brooke, what? Um, I agree with Matt. I think we have a really strong early game. Uh, on both games we played a really good early game and then we tend to do some mistakes, and if we work on that, I think we don't have any big problem. And speaking of early games, I feel like your laning phases against both Someday and Huni were like obnoxiously good. Like, like Thank you. first of all, did, did you feel the same that like this was going to be a very tough test with big names in front of you? And did you feel like that was going to be tough coming in, or were you confident coming in? Um, usually, when I when I play against someone, I don't care who they are or what they achieved. I just uh, look how good I can play or how good I can perform and I think that's the key to always play your best. And so even though you're coming in it was just no extra pressure, it was just playing League of yes. Legends. That's really impressive. You did really, really well. Again, Thank I want you. to give you that. Uh, so of course, avid fans of LCS tonight know that we normally start the show with Scion Speedway. And this year we have a brand new track constructed, which means a brand new leaderboard for this year of Scion Speedway. And of course, only one of you can take the top spot. One of you will be last place in the leaderboard at the end of the night. So uh, good luck with that one. Uh, either way, to determine who goes first, we have a brand new game uh, called Better Teammate Wins. I'm going to quiz both of these players about each other. And the winner gets to choose who has to go first on Scion Speedway? So first question, Acadian, it's to you. A few months ago, Broken Blade posted this picture to his Twitter feed saying goodbye to his former teammates in the TCL. What team did Broken Blade play for? Nah, but uh fun this is easy. <laughs> I actually don't know. Give us a guess. Uh anything at all. It's a, I think there's an R in the name. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. There's definitely an R. Good. Like RGB, I don't remember what they're called. I just know it's an R. Ooh. I definitely looked up, or in one of your montages, you're on that team playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember the team name actually. Royal Bandits. <laughs> Dang. Royal Sorry. Bandits. It actually became Royal Youth very briefly yeah. before you left as well. <laughs> Either way, we actually thought you were going to get that one wrong and we were right. So uh, you're going to get kind of screwed here, Acadian. Okay, Oops. same question though Broken Blade. Uh, what team did Acadian play for before signing with TSM? Um, that one is easy. It's Optic. Up to gaming. <laughs> wow, better teammate. Yeah. Better teammate already winning. All right, you got a chance to come back though. We've got more questions for each, for each of you. Acadian, of course, they get a little bit harder, so good luck. Uh, recently, you guys released a video on YouTube uh, of Ask TSM where fans asked about Broken Blade's favorite food. Bjergsen correctly identified them as yogurt noodles, but what are they actually called? <sighs> I actually don't know this either. There's no way. Ooh. Can't be this question. Uh, I mean, I know that it's like, like some some Turkish like yogurt in the noodles because we tried them mm -hmm. in one of the places, but I don't remember what it's called. Uh, if I was told correctly, Monte. 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 Yeah. Okay. I was given the spelling. Yeah. The, uh, anything else? Either way. So uh, that's unfortunate. But uh, our next question is also about food, and it's uh, of course for the other side here. TSM treats leaked Acadian <laughs> Starbucks order on <laughs> Twitter. Brooklyn, do you happen to remember Acadian Starbucks order? Um, it was like a. Like a five espresso shot. Uh huh. You're getting there. With I, I don't know. <laughs> it was really extra, and it was yeah. it was just as I I'll never order that if I go in it like with live. people around. Yeah, yeah, no, but if you order it on the on the app, you could just order that, and then they just put it there for you, so you don't have to like actually go in and order that. It's oh, right. Super extra, but it's, it's super hidden. So unfortunately, you're getting screwed here in this one. There is the uh, there is the tweet up there. Yeah, venti blonde, blonde latte, five shots espresso, 10 pumps vanilla syrup, caramel drizzle. That is a lot of sugar. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, ultimately we know Broken Blade is the better teammate, knows his team better than you do. So uh, who's going first in Speedway? Um, it's going to be Matt, I think. Matt's going okay. first in Speedway? Yeah. Acadian, are you confident? 
yeah, I think I gotta win. How'd practice go? I, I practice, practice actually went pretty well, I'm prepared. All right, Yeah. well, get up on there. Science Speed with 2019 is starting with a new track, a new checkpoint systems. The rules, as always, you can ult as many times as you want. Make sure to pass every checkpoint or you will take a penalty. Summoners and active items can only be used once each, and you've got to dodge all of the crazy obstacles along the way. This time around, you have to go through the ward checkpoints, and you can see these sort of demos right here for what the new thing looks like. Also, the new end checkpoint right there is going to be the fountain all the way in. You've got to go full in Scion, and that's what the chorus is going to look like overall. Acadian, are you ready? Yeah. Did I just hit on pause on this? Uh, yeah, okay. slash on pause when you're ready. Right. You know the drill. And as it counts down, Right. First ever science people 2019. <laughs> all right. It's around the graveyard. All right, all right. Turns left, turns left. Not bad. Turn right. Okay, resets on this one. Through try brush by red buff. Oh! Nah, Ooh. I actually That's never hit that one. That's a bad look. I mean, thankfully, Broken Blade's a Scion main, so I feel like you know he's ready to go on that one. What? Oh my gosh, he's trolling. Wait, oh, I forgot no, that's there, a, actually. Yeah, Close. there's a thing in the way. Yeah, it's an intentional blocker. All right. Oh, oh wait, guys. Okay. Uh, All right, I lost for sure, by the way. Yeah. Not looking good. All right, you want to get past this one? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right, that went way right, worse than all my practices. It's not even close. All right. Well, there's your time. Good job. Nice try. Uh, we'll have the time for you pretty soon. But hey, for now, you're first place. Yeah. You are first place on the leaderboard. And for the next like five minutes, no one can take that away from you. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, <it> sucks. <laughs> I actually hit like seven ones. Yeah. Seven. Seven maybe. walls. Yeah, seven yeah. walls. I think I let, I hit one. My best practice, but it's fine. Oh, and then you know what happens. Okay. So, of course, before Brooklyn gets his shot at the racetrack, <laughs> we've got a new segment where we'll see a few clips from this weekend, and I will ask both of your professional opinions. Uh, whose fault is it anyway? It's going to be a fun one. The first clip is an impressive objective steal from yesterday's game between Clutch Gaming and Echo Fox. Of course, you can see the score right there, 51 and a half or so. Not amazing, but we'll see what happens. Um, either way, let's see what happened in this clip, and you can tell me if it was a misstep, a good play, whose fault it was as we get to see Lyris to the Drake. Last gun over, and just the easy W and a smite. Who could have prevented this? I think the whole team could have prevented this. Exactly whose fault. Is it always jungler for not smiting as well? Um, I think I've seen Corky string it up, so I'm gonna go say it's Corky's fault because he didn't ward over the wall. Of course, it's communication and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. But it was also a really good play of the jungler because he has an escape, he can just safely go in into the pit and check if they're actually doing it. So I think it was a good play and a misplay from both sides. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think it was a good play by Lyra. And also Fox probably just didn't think he was going to come over because they were all basing. Like his whole team was basing and he just sure, stole yeah. it. So. Well, I know from watching Rush's Twitter, he flames uh, Phoenix a lot for not using his trinkets ever. So I'm going to go and agree with you and say it's Corky's <laughs> fault. I think Rush would agree. So next up, we have an early gank in the top lane gone awry. And once again, let's see uh, exactly whose fault it would be. 2 v one top lane. All right, what's the thought here? <clears throat> whose fault is it going to be? I think this is mostly the jungler's fault. We, we actually talked about this. There's two times you can go. It's either as soon as you get there or you wait for him to hit the range creeps as Urgot. But I think it's it's like definitely communication between the two, but probably the jungler, I think, is the one who, who handles that, probably Wiggly. Bit better time for Wiggly, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Junglers, they can't smite, can't gank. Why are they even my games? <laughs> It's okay. In our next clip, the untrained eye might only see an overextension or a needless death, but our experts might give us the inside story. I want to say, whose fault is this death for Camille? Yeah, this is a really fast in for me. This is my big end of the game, for sure. But you saw a world champion in your eyes. Yeah. I mean, we were definitely just looking for this play. Like, we said we could dive really easily with our champs, but this is not the time. We could have just waited for Victor to, to die, and then I just had to go full uh, Chad mode on him, I guess. So were they really telling you go to. in, or was it just like look for a dive? or what? No, I mean, it, it was just like in general, we can look for it and I can look for it, but that was just not the time where that play was good at all. Okay. I remember in the game we were screaming for Victor, mm -hmm. and then suddenly Matt's like screaming, <laughs> go on Lucian, guys. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly it was 
Ten miles away. I thought I thought Victor was gonna die, but then he's Zonius, and then oh, okay. that bought a lot of time for like my because if, if Victor insta died and then my front line or my whole team just moves forward, then he's dead. Yeah. But right, because you can drop aggro with ult and stuff and get revived, so like that yeah. the rest of that dive works out if he's yeah. gone. But it's exactly. a lot of space. Okay, well, a lot of clips of jungle screwing up. It's really unlucky. Now, I've got, of course, we've got one more play, but for this one, I'm flipping the script, and instead of finding fault, we're going to highlight the play that got the most Twitter hype this week, making it worthy of an LCS big play. At TSM Dan, as he tweeted out to celebrate the team's new top laner, says, Hooney who? Broken Blade, whose fault was this, uh, this, this solo kill? Uh... Who, 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 who's at fault here? I think, obviously, it's more... For every all play, there has to be a misplay from someone. Okay, sure. And I guess he just did not respect that I can kill him. And I think mm -hmm. his skill order was wrong as well in his build path. Since I was going a really aggressive build with uh, Disserated Dirk. Right. And I think in this case, you have to build armor or you're really vulnerable to getting one shot. And that's and what happened. And one shot? <laughs> Yeah. So like arm guard earlier, like or like uh, going towards like a yeah, goal like, or something. Yeah, yeah like uh, early ice born is really good against yeah. Aatrox. And Q max. And Q max. Because he points in, at Three points in Q minimum, I think. Okay. Yeah. Is that just every Aatrox matchup ever? Every melee matchup, or er, sorry, every like fighter matchup, aggressive one? Um, Aatrox has many build paths. If he wants, he can trade you a lot by a lot of CDR. It just always depends on what Aatrox goes. Mm -hmm. So if he goes penetration, you you should go armor. Right. At least. Yeah. But if you're like Kindle gem into like call fields, you'd like maybe something a little bit different. Yeah. You can okay. then you can vary the build. Cool. Good to know. Well, thanks very much, of course, for that one broken blade. Yeah. Now, of course, with our interlude complete, it is time for Broken Blade himself to take his turn on Scion Speedway. Right. You won a Scion game earlier, now you can win the Scion racetrack, yeah. maybe. Uh, good luck to you. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Katie, what's your prediction? You got 51 and a half. What's he gonna get? He's gonna get like 37. 37? Yeah. 30 is that 30. low or high? Is that low? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. But that either. seems really fast. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go with like 42. 42. I hit, I hit so many things. That's true. All right, unpause when you're ready. Okay. Let's get it, bread. Let's get I it believe. Bread. Also want to point out a different strategy here. You had a bunch of different actives. He's yeah. just all on the same item. He's got five uh, spellbinders. Wow, that's a that's a good drift, man. Or do you get start? That's not bad. Okay, He's okay. drifting so hard. This is the wall you hit earlier. He clears it. Oh, ooh, that cut out. Oh, okay. There's the ghost. There's the flash. Okay, oh, I'm getting it. So hard. He definitely okay. won. He definitely won, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that one. That's a good run. Right, it's not balanced. What is going through your mind, Broken Blade? Can you do it? Oh, it's okay. It's still fine. We're in there and the fountain. All right. I actually wow. didn't even use my items. Yeah, it's true. There's room for improvement. It's actually not balanced because he plays Sion normally. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play Sion. Yeah. I mean, I think our winner last year was Grayson. Really? Yeah. But he actually, I think, knew a lot of mid Sion. I think he practiced the champion oh, yeah. a bunch. Definitely mid Sion was in the meta. Yeah, 45, 45. and a half. Okay. That was yeah. I guess 43, but. Yeah. Whatever. If he's the actors, maybe, right? Yeah. Got mm -hmm. another two seconds off? I think All I right. missed the wall, too. Yeah. All right. Uh, Broken Blade, where are you going to end the season at? Like, because as we, as we bring on two more guests every single week, are you going to end in first? Who's, how much uh, can top that? I'm not sure if I did well or not. It looked pretty good. I think I'm going to be at the top of the standings. Maybe someone can top it, but. Okay. Yeah. We want at least top five. Yeah. All right, I'm holding you to that. Good luck. <laughs> TSM top five, of course, in the LCS as well. Now, before we sign off for the weekend, let's take a look at next week's schedule. And of course, TSM headline of the day versus Echo Fox, who are one and one themselves. Uh, how do you feel about that one coming in? Acadian, I'm going to ask you first. feel pretty confident. Feeling yeah. confident? Pretty much every matchup against every team right every, now. Is every game jungle difference? Yes. Yeah. Every game is jungle difference? Every confirm. game is jungle difference, <laughs> yep. no matter what. Cool. Win or lose. Top difference against solo? Um, I'm not looking forward to, I mean, what, what I want to say is, it's a team game, right? Yeah. At the end. Uh, of course, solo kills are always good and are also helping the team, but it's not my focus. Okay. It's, team play is way more important, so mm -hmm. I'm going to try, I think, for example, today I could, could have played the team game better. Sure. And I'm going to focus on that next week. Okay. And this is the man who named himself after Riven, by the way. He's like, I, but it's the team play that I care about. <laughs> One day as you'll bring out Riven, I'll be very excited for you. 
Either way, uh, Sunday's games, of course, exciting as well. TSM features another uh, exciting matchup later on. Uh, are you going to end it out 3-1? and one? You're going to win both? FlyQuest uh, is your other opponent. Um, They're 2-0, oh, so like they had a good start. I think we definitely have higher chances winning than the last two games. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we should not underestimate them, of course. But sure. I'm confident in me and also my team. And Echo Fox is also a former team of Acadian because mm -hmm. I care about my teammate. <laughs> uh, nice so play, bro. Yeah. I'm pretty wow. sure he wants to win against the yeah. team. And it's going to motivate even the other players to play harder and win with him. And when you guys go to MSI eventually by winning NA and you play against Royal Youth in, you know, from TCL, uh, Acadian, just so you know, Royal Youth. We have to win. The yeah. rebanded Royal Bandits, his old team. <laughs> just letting you know, we'll get that one together. Yeah. All right, so that, of course, wraps up week one of LCS Spring. Thank you once again, Broken Blade and Acadian, for joining me here. You guys are absolutely wonderful. And uh, keep in mind, LCS Cool Night is now over. But on behalf of myself, the casters, the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching. We will see you next week for more LCS. We are about to jump into game number one of the day. Who executes it better? Who can set up the map in a way that makes it so they're the ones dictating the momentum? Bottom side, Jade is setting a time to go for a fight here yet again. Gonna be taken very low. First, blood! Flash, flash, no flash. He has to Kill Kill Nice boys. Guard gonna be first, and it's a resurrection coming through on the fight for now as well. Off to take it out. The TA gonna be proc. The Lorem goes down. A double kill over to Wild Turtle. And it's Optic completely routed. Cloud Nine versus 100 Thieves. One will finish week one, zero, two. Neither wants to face that reality. We can still fight. Alistair has flash and ignite. We're right here. We can fight this guy. Yeah. Red bomb here. Red bomb here. Look, look, look. No. Alistair, no flash. He's dead. He's dead. This guy? We're fighting. Yeah, We're fighting. That's really low. Tiny Camille? Nice, nice, nice. Been scared, trying to keep himself around. After Mook gonna be taken low. Damage coming down to both sides, but it's too dead for a hundred thieves. Roll him in it. Keep himself alive, Hextech, but it's not gonna hit. He doesn't have the distance. Wiggly in the pit with 2v1 now. Fear beyond death. That's one dark. Mike Killamir is gonna be a solo. Chain comes out, throws down the wall. Oh! Under. He can get the kill on Oni, but he gets stomped up. One more dark and blade to come in, but he can use the upper. No way, dark and blade. Oh! It's dark and blade, third strike. Look at I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Clean up, clean up. Two shots gonna miss as he comes up with the Zanyas now coming in. Broken Blade as low, he's gonna throw down the World Ender, and he's coming back up as Acadian. The Smoothie Falls, the double kill, coming in for Demonte as he's looking for a few more. The triple kill for Demonte. Oh, 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 I think we have a like, really good environment to improve. Collapsing and having really explosive team fighting engages, that's definitely one of our key strengths as a team. I'm quite happy that we've won today, at least. I always win, so it's pretty hard to top what we've already done, but you know, I have my sights set on Worlds. I think you're gonna see a lot more games like that this entire split.